So this is my brand new LinkedIn profile picture and background banner. This is an event poster I made in the sales team when I had no marketing support or budget. This is a very realistic mock-up of a landing page for iPad that's clearly better than the original. And this is the cover image I'm using for my weekly agenda page on Notion. I created all these assets for free on a website called Canva.com. Let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back to the second episode of Think Outside the Box, where I show you creative ways to stand out at work. This series is all about using non-traditional methods to excel in the traditional professional workplace. And in this video, I go over seven ways Canva has helped me do just that. Starting with number one, easily import and edit PDFs for presentations. So on the Canva homepage, you can literally drag and drop entire PDF files on here and Canva will output a document you can actually edit from the background all the way to the words on the slides. Can you imagine what I would have paid for something like this when I was a first year consultant making all those pitch decks referencing PDFs I couldn't edit? That was such Anyways, this is extremely useful when you're responsible for your manager or director's presentation and you just need to use two to three slides from a 50 page PDF file. Keep some of the original information, add your own thoughts and analysis, slap on your company's branding, and do not forget to give credit to the source material. The best part is that you can export this as a PowerPoint file or save this within your Google Drive to edit in Google Slides. Speaking of presentations, tip number two is to use a frames feature to really make your ideas pop on screen. Let's say you're designing a dynamic website that needs to look good on desktop, mobile, and iPad. Now, I can obviously just have the screenshots on a slide like this, like this is how it looks on desktop and this on iPad, right? But I can go to the elements tab here, type in frames like so, and select a smartphone frame, for example, make this slightly larger for now. Um, choose an image I've already uploaded ahead of time. And with this selected, slot it in, double click and make some small adjustments, perhaps make the iPhone 13 right in the middle like so, press enter. Uh, enlarge this a little bit like that, and there you go. And this really just makes your mock-ups, uh, it brings your mock-ups to life a bit more, right? Trust me when I tell you, your audience will really appreciate small adjustments like this. And this holds true for the other frames on here as well, right? Here's the iPad one, here's the desktop one. If I go back to elements, you'll see there are frames for book covers, book pages, uh, photos, collages. This feature is just a great way to help others envision what you have in your mind. Moving on to the third thing to use Canva for, and that is to update your LinkedIn profile picture. This was my original uh, LinkedIn profile picture. I know it's extremely difficult to improve upon perfection. To improve upon perfection. But we have to try. First, head on over to removebg.com or removebackground.com and upload a photo of yourself. This tool helps you remove the background for free, but you only get one try to download a HD high definition picture, so make it count. Then coming back to Canva, click create a design, custom size, input 1600 by 1600 pixels and create new design. And then you wanna upload the profile picture with the transparent background here. Now the fun begins. If you wanna go with a safe option, you can just go to elements and type in gradient and filter by free here and apply filters. Uh, choose a gradient color, something like this. I'm just gonna enlarge this all the way here first to minimize the white background color and click position and send backward like so. Now I can just choose uh, colors uh, I like. For example, blue and green. Can't really go wrong with this. If you want something a bit more fancy, here's something I came up with and I'm super proud of this. Check this out. So in the search bar, uh, type in something like nature and then uh, make sure the free filter is still on. Uh, click this one, this picture right here, but you can select any of them. I'm just gonna use this as an example, enlarge this. And with this image selected, I click edit image. In the adjust portion here, click see all. Turn down the brightness a little bit. Uh, turn the vignette up all the way. And for blur, type in 10. Okay, now you have a nice blurry background. Copy and paste your picture onto this background and now you have a very natural looking uh, profile picture with a blurred background. 
This looks pretty cool, right? And I'm not just talking about my face. Obviously you can search for other categories of background like ocean, sky, or like office, if you're feeling particularly productive. Uh, play around with it, uh, make it your own, and download it here as a PNG when you're done. And if you wanna take this a step even further, go back to elements, search for frames, and go down and find a circle frame with an outline like this one, um, and then under uploads, you have to upload the downloaded picture for this to work. I've already have one here, select this. And again, drag this into the frame, uh, enlarge this until it hits the sides. And now you can actually change the color of the circle frame, like so, like that, something like this. And this might help you stand out on LinkedIn just a bit more. Let me know if you're using Canva already. If yes, what you're using it for and whether you want like a top 10 tips or something because there are loads more fun stuff we could do with this. And we're not done with LinkedIn yet because the fourth tip is to create a LinkedIn background banner. This is an easy one because all you gotta do is search for LinkedIn banner up top here and uh, Canva will output all the templates they have. I've already created design as you can see in my original background banner. I just have my initials on a blank computer screen here to customize it a tiny bit. Or you can do go with something a bit more fancy, uh, change up the colors in the background uh, like so. Just play around with it and see what uh, design style you like. For me, I like to keep it simple and consistent, so I just basically use my YouTube channel banner and change the tagline here. Huge shout out to Suzanne if she's watching this video because she designed this icon and I absolutely love it. So this is the before and this is the after. Uh, pro tip, uh, because the profile picture is on the left on LinkedIn, if you add any sort of supplemental text or images on your banner, make sure they're like towards the right, like I have here. And by the way, if you're updating your LinkedIn profile, make sure to check out my LinkedIn playlist because I share a lot of best practices on there. I'll link it down below. Use case number five, design an easily shareable event invitation. So back when I was in the sales team, we didn't have any marketing support or budget. So we basically had to run entire events by ourselves. So to get a professional looking event invitation, I basically went on Canva and created a 480, so you can see here in the file portion, 480 by 672 pixel uh, event poster. I found a template that I liked, as you can see, this one is this one, and just customized it. A few pro tips here, let me just zoom in really quick so you can see. You can add a QR code like so by going to more and clicking QR code. And you can input your Google form or a sign up form link on here, right? So after you generate it, uh, people can just scan it and sign up uh, directly. And you might have noticed down here, I'm just using the circle frame I talked about before uh, as the speaker headshot, you know, uh, graphic design here. They are so lucky to be invited as speakers to my event. I found this format to be a lot more effective than sending invitations via email because one, visually it looks a lot better, and two, it's so shareable. It's super easy for one invitee to take this and quickly send this to a bunch of people uh, who might find this event relevant uh, via messaging apps versus forwarding this one by one over email. Obviously, this specific poster is a joke, but when I did do this for actual events, uh, when I didn't have any resources, I received a lot of recognition for it at work because no one else had thought about something like this before. If you like this design, I'll actually share a link to the template you can make a copy of down in the description below. Uh, so you can use it for any type of event from large scale webinars all the way to like planning a birthday party, right? I actually have an event management 101 video uh, where I walk you through how I go through the event planning process. So I'll link that down below somewhere as well. Idea number six is another quickie and that is to use Canva to create a resume and or cover letter. First, you can search for resume up top here and you'll get a bunch of fancy, nice looking templates. But if you have watched my resume and cover letter videos, you know that I like to stick with simple designs for good reason. So I recommend you find a template without a headshot and with very simple accent colors. If I keep looking down here, like this one of Patricia Brown and this is free as well. And I mainly like Canva uh, for the formatting accuracy, right? For example, the date. The date can be perfectly right aligned and middle aligned like so. 
all the way up and down and the role and company names can be perfectly left aligned since this could be a nightmare to get right on Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So my advice, for the content, watch my resume and cover letter videos, type it all out on Google Docs, then transfer what you have onto a Canva template to ensure the formatting is flawless. Then finally, uh, obviously download it as a PDF for distribution and to land that dream job. Tip number seven is to use dimensions to create any design you want. So, so far I've gone through six examples, right? But obviously there are endless possibilities to what you can design here. So. If there's a graphic you want to make, you want to first search for the dimensions of the graphic, then come back, click create a design here, custom size, and input the width and height by pixel, inches, millimeters, or centimeters. For example, if you use Notion, we can search for Notion cover page size dimensions. And we see that's 1500 pixels by 600 pixels. Uh, come back to Canva, create a design that's 1500 by 600, put together something I like here, or just use a template portion here for inspiration. Uh, download this as a PNG and then upload it uh, as my cover image. You can sign up to Canva for free using the link down below. They're not sponsoring this video. It just helps if you end up uh, purchasing the premium subscription. If you're enjoying the Think Outside the Box series, I'll link the full playlist right over here. See you on the next video. In the meantime, have a great one.